Welcome back to the vacation. We got back from vacation and the last video where I was in got a ton of views. If this video gets just as much, we'll do more videos together. together. Yep. So this is Jocelyn from Ribbon Candy Hooking and this is Mama Diana. And we are here on the beach to introduce our June block that's been out since June 1st, but we're only now getting around to doing a video, our monthly video for the block. Hold it up nice. What's it a picture of, Joss? It is like a lobster in a pail. It is. It's a, it's an old time vintage pail with a lobster on it. And this design was inspired by the old Ohio art um, tin, I think tin pails, the old metal pails painted so pretty. This isn't actually one of the designs, but I really wanted to get a lobster in there to make it real beachy. So this is our really beachy June block, our monthly block for our Facebook group called uh, Rug Hooking and Punch Needle of New England. We recently changed the name because we outgrew our more regional name and we're bigger, we're bigger now, bigger and better, right? Yeah. And this is my assistant Jocelyn who's been doing a lot of designing too and recently did a beautiful crab pattern that I'm going to release and that will be all you, all yours. Anyone who buys it is going to go, that money is going to go to you for whatever a six-year-old needs. But this month we've got our June pattern and I always do a monthly video uh, talking about, these are typically beginner patterns. Of course, if you are a rug hooker and you've been doing it hundred years longer than me which would be physically impossible since I'm almost 50 but if you've been, I'm sure you've been doing it longer than I have anyway but if you like this pattern it's not a beginner kit the kits that I put out month by month are meant for beginners because they're typically done in a primitive cut number eight cut width um, and are fairly simple to execute so that's why I call them beginner patterns but of course I'm very happy for anybody who likes them to have them our intention at the end of the year in December we'll have an extra video uh, learning how to put together all of these monthly patterns January so far through June so we're already halfway through our patterns for the year and there's quite a few people who have all of them so far and I'm wondering how many people are going to put together the whole sort of Baltimore album of, of images in rug hooking this year so this month this is the June pattern this is our sand bucket um, I think this is all like maybe except for the yellow I think I hand dyed most of these wools this is all door wool uh, except for the black and yeah, I think the yellow was uh, swatch sets that I had. There's still door, but from ages ago, this sort of marigold color. But I did all of the tans and the blues, and I did a really, I, I think, very nice two-color tie-dye around the edges in a sort of turquoise to um, or cobalt. And it really was like a tie-dye when it came out of the casserole dish. So this pattern is the pale. It's got the lobster on it, and the lobster is done in yarn. So this is also hand dyed yarn. It's two colors of red, sort of a red coral and a red. Uh, the inside of the bucket is like that enamel blue, which is a very, very faint gray blue. I've done a lot of directional hooking on this piece. Um, you should execute your piece however you want. I did it very horizontally with the exception of the bucket. The bucket is done in a black wool that is not door. It's a textured wool and it's a, it's a very loose open weave. It's very similar if you have the March kit, which is the sheep and the rainbow, the sort of Irish hail kit. I had a very shaggy um, dark green that I dyed for that kit too. Um, and it comes out very shaggy and that's what I chose for the grass. I did the same thing with this black. It's very shaggy. It's not gonna be clean, flat loops. It gives you a very shaggy background just on the bucket that you can't really see any difference in this sort of nap to it or the surface to it, but it does fill in really richly um, and softly around the, the sharpness of the lobster. It's very hard to get a simple lobster design that still has a lot of detail, and that really is the focus of this piece. So your black in here is going to be an open weave. It's all going to be cut to an eight with the exception of the two colors of red wool that are in the lobster. And the number five cut, this is a hand dyed really hot pink that I did for the handle, so that really pops. I think everything else here is a number eight. Yeah. I might have cut one of mine skinnier to do this little handle, the cobalt blue for the beach pail. Um, but I did a lot of horizontal hooking, and I did, if you can see at the bottom, sort of waves of sand. And you're going to have a selection of several different colors of sand in this packet, all of these colors. It's exactly the same color scheme. But 
I want you to hook it the way that you feel is right and instinctive for you because um, to follow exactly what I've done when it's not exactly what you think should be done uh, sort of defeats the purpose of rug hooking because it's supposed to be a joy and it's supposed to be uh, organic and it's supposed to be natural and it's supposed to be loose and fun and reflect your personality. Um, but if you want it to look exactly like this, you'll probably end up doing horizontal rows like I have all the way across. I've done sort of half circle ring type things inside the bucket where the enamel goes. I've done the outline of the bucket in black. I first outlined it in black to, to um, establish the shape. And then after I outlined it, I did the, I did the lobster. And in some places it was fiddly and I had to do the lobster, uh, do the black around it, pull the red out because it got buried a little bit and put it back in. That's going to be your choice and that's going to be, you figure it out as you go along kind of thing. You have to make it pop in the right way for you. If you want to elongate stuff, if you want to make stuff fuller and fatter, you're going to have enough wool to be able to fool with it any way that you want. Uh, but that's how I did it, by establishing the shape, by outlining things first and then doing the lobster and filling it around the lobster like a coloring book. Got a little shovel coming up here. Um, this section of it is done in vertical rows. At the bottom, we've got a lot of movement again where the sand is. Um, yarn inside here and then two little French knots, which are just knots that are pulled back through in a black yarn. It's actually an antique black. It's a, it's a hand dyed kind of bluish purple black. Uh, not a solid black because I wanted it to look different than the bucket. So you're getting the two colors of red yarn and the little black pieces of yarn to make the eyes on the lobster and everything else is predominantly number eight cut or number five cut for this. Do you think there's anything? This is the back of it. I think it looks all right. Yeah, it looks all right. I've already blocked this, which means I pressed it with a an iron and I made it nice and flat. It makes the loop stay nice. If you can see real close up, even the pink, again, this is all hand dyed parts, um, it changes color as it goes. And I like that effect. It gives it a little bit of an aged effect. You can see that besides outlining the black of the bucket to, to, to find the space for myself to hook, I also outlined one row around the bucket. That is a choice. You could come slamming right up to the edge of something, like you see this pink, come right up to the edge, and then you just see the little tails of everything here, not visible at all. But for me, what I did with this one was I actually did a row around the bucket. That's a design choice. That's up to you. That's directional hooking. That's up to you how you want to handle that. But this is our June kit. We love it, huh? Yeah. I think this is the happiest one we've done. We forgot your pail. You're going to hold up your pail as a prop. You want to hold up this one more time? Yeah. Yeah, I think we nailed it. It's 10 inches by 10 inches, and it comes on monk's cloth. Um, I'm holding it up on linen or backing, rug backing, but it comes on monk's cloth. That's what I've got right now and I've already made these kits up. If you need something else, let me know. Uh, these kits are $45, free shipping in the US. And if you want to do this pattern um, with your own materials, you can get it without the kit, just the pattern itself. And that would also mean that if you would rather punch needle it than rug hook it, I can also transfer it in reverse onto a piece of monk's cloth. Um, and then you would just hit it backwards and it would be the same pattern with your colors, but same design. So this is June. What do we name this? I didn't put it on there. I think it's called Vintage uh, Sand Pale. Do you have, have anything else to say about this one? The part I like about it is yeah. almost every color is, is a beautiful color change in hand dyed wool or yarn. Yeah, that's a good part. It's super fun to dye wool. I'm right in the light of it. But yeah, I like that part too. My favorite part about it is the lobster, but I also love the way that yeah. the sky changes, and that's something that each person who does this design. Even the lobster is multicolored. He's multicolored. He's got kind of yeah. little concentric circle things going on here, and his yeah. legs are real fiddly. You know, good thing I said that because I think with his legs, I took my number eight strips and cut them in half to get these curly little legs skinnier. Um, you could also do that with yarn, um, but you could cut your little guys. I think, it ha I think that's what I did. I think I cut the eights in half and made them not, not as small as a three, something like a four to go around there. So you might want to do that too, just to get a bit more um, freedom with making those little loops. Yeah, these antenna are definitely yarn right here. You see how that's a little bit different? That's more coral. Yeah. That's definitely yarn because the antenna, antennae are super fine in terms of being small and narrow. There's no sea or ocean in this picture, so the border is like the ocean.
That's a good point. See these th three strips here? It's yeah. kind of like this kind of mimics, these two colors mimic the enamel thing and then there's one stripe of blue. We've got three strips of cross that are meant to represent abstractly the ocean. There's um, a little bit of ocean, but there's mostly yeah. water. And you know, the thing is, I really, with a sand bucket picture, with a beach picture with sand and a bucket, I did not want to do the expected um, all blues. Um, not just because I'm special and fancy and different, I just thought there's a lot of um, patterns that you can get of the ocean of people on towels that are all blue. Um, so I wanted to do something that was not all blue and instead we went with the many colors of sand and the many colors of the sort of sunset, the yellow sunset, to do something different in three rows of beach so that the blue didn't become synonymous with beach. We wanted to do beach a little bit different this way and I think we succeeded, huh? Yeah. Should we say bye to our viewers? Go check out bye. our channel too. She also has a channel. If you have grandkids or kids, their channel is bye. called the Bubble Fart Channel and bye. I'm required to say that. They talk a lot about video games and Jocelyn also does her own craft corner. She's a wonderful hooker and designer herself. So far I did two crafts on the channel. Mm -hmm. And if you try to go to our channel, you can't really find it because it's not really popular. So, so, so the way to find it is just write in Bubble Fart FNAF and, and then it will come up. Okay. So I help people. Do... Let me know if you want to find their channel for your kids or grandkids. Kids, It's a very nice channel that she and her brother does. Oh yeah, we have uh, so it's much. It's definitely for kids oh, and it's sorry. nothing to do with rug hooking. Don't show yourself to the camera, Teddy. You don't have That's okay. Shirt. You want a photo bomb, Ted? But, guys, also... We have, might want we have lots of FNAF, lots of games, lots of... Be careful, honey. You're going to knock all your teeth Flush. out. There he goes. You're going to wave to the camera and give a little photo bomb? <laughs> not, we're not talking about video games. Just say hi to the viewers. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. All right. Hey, viewers. Bye-bye. Do you have a tick on you? Come here. Do you have a tick? No. All right. Bye, viewers. Happy day at the beach. Happy summer. Hope Happy things summer. are getting back to normal. June kit, vintage sand, pale. July kit is already drawn, and it's a. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about it. Um, it's it's not political, but it's patriotic and um, very Fourth of July and and a happy a happy pattern. So we'll be seeing that soon. Take care until then.